Hello, my name is Linda Mischansky, and I'm a volunteer with the Duke of Edinburgh International Award Program. To help you meet the requirements for the preliminary training for your adventurous journey, we have put together a number of informational videos. At the end of the video will be a means for you to document that you have fulfilled the requirement with a certificate or authorization that can be printed off or downloaded to your online record book. In this video, I will provide you with some tips on how to select a good campsite. The campsite is an important part of the camping experience as it contributes much to the trip. The most important thing to remember is that good campsites are found, not made. Here are some things to look for when evaluating different camping locations. Size. Size will vary and you need to know about the size that your camp set up. Is there enough room for your tents? Do you need extra space for additional camping gear? If you plan on having a fire, you want the fire far enough away so smoke is not billowing, billowing through your shelter or sparks will fall on your tent. Level. If you are sleeping on a hill, you will slide right out of your bed or have blood rushing to your head or both. Look for a site that is nice and flat. You do not want your legs higher than your head. A gentle incline is okay, but sleep with your head at the top of the slope. If the site has a dip in it, water can pool and increase the chance of you getting wet if into your tent if it rains. Shade. If the weather is going to be warm, some shade is a nice option to have. Look around at trees and see what sort of trees there are there. Avoid trees that are dripping sap or have large boughs or are dead. These are called widow makers and can drop on your tent unexpectedly, especially in high winds. You want to position yourself where the trees provide afternoon shade. Morning sun will help dry your tents and warm you up. If you're using a hammock, then the trees will be more crucial to your camping experience. Location. Close proximity to a water source is good, but ensure that you are at least 200 feet away from the shore and above the high water mark. Also, don't camp too close to the trail or camping trails. If you are at an established site, Look where the toilets are, too close and you may get the odors and foot traffic noise to them. How much privacy do you have from the site beside you? Hollows and valleys are usually the wettest, coldest and foggiest spots around. Cold air collects in metals. A nice scenic view is always a bonus. Wind. A breeze can be a good thing, blows away campfire smoke, helps keep the bugs away and also helps with condensation and keeps you cool on a hot day but severe winds can put you at risk. Look for protection from the wind in the form of sand dunes, boulders, hills, and thick vegetation. Breezes blow up canyons and mountains during the day, down at night. Cold air also travels down water corridors and settles in low places. Site conditions. Check for ant hills, etc. at the site. Is the ground clear of debris? Can you clear it away? Is the soil compacted? This indicates poor drainage. Look for poison ivy or poison oak. Avoid tall grassy meadows as they have the highest bug population. In rocky terrain, beware of snake infested ledges. Also look above you. Always be aware of what is looming above you. Don't choose to set up beneath dead tree branches, rock slide or avalanche areas and loose rock ledges. Tall dominant trees or a single or small clumps of trees are targets for lightning. Dense stands of trees all the same height in a lower area away from the water offer the best protection. When winter camping, do not set up your camp beneath trees that have heavy snow on their branches. If you are in bare country, ensure you have somewhere where you can hang your food and waste at least 15 feet in the air. And last of all, impact. Consider the impact of your camp. In established sites, set up where someone else has set up before you. In pristine areas, Find a new spot. Always clean up after yourself and leave the area cleaner than you found it. To see how well you can select a good campsite, take the quiz at, adventure at adventure.howstuffworks.com. A score of 16 out of 20 or better will show you have a good chance to have your adventurous journey getting off to a good start. Do a screenshot of your results to record your completion of this requirement.